Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning Made Easy. In this video, I am going to present her chapter Fractions and Decimals from Maths for Grade 7. This is based on NCERT textbook for CBSE syllabus. So before beginning, I would like to remind you all, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my video. So let's begin the chapter Fractions and Decimals. Uh, as for the textbook, your first exercise will be 2.1 and this is your first question which I have already written on the board. So here it is to solve 2 minus 3 by 5. Now how to solve this? Here we can see this is a fraction 3 by 5 but here 2 has no denominator. Now when there is no denominator, how to solve? How to solve this? I'll tell you. When there is no denominator for a number, that is suppose here it is 2, it means you can take the denominator as 1, whatever the number will be. Uh, if I if, uh, think it is 3, if there is no denominator, it means it is 3 by 1. So here there is no denominator 2 for 2 means it is 2 by 1. For fractions, one thing we have to remember is that in case of addition and subtraction, the denominator has to be same but in case of multiplication and division need the denominators need not be same these are the things you have to remember now we'll be handling only addition and subtra subtraction for the time being but we'll be handling it uh, multiplication division further so here it is subtraction and we as i said it, it, if there is nothing it means it is one so denominators are different one and five in case of one and 5 we have to take LCM actually but with any number if you have 1 to take the LCM the number will be your LCM you need not take the LCM if it was two different numbers you would have to uh, take LCM of it but here since it is 1 this number with the 1 will be the LCM so here your LCM will be 5 now what we have to take care is here the denominator is already 5 but here the denominator as I said it is 1. This is not there in your textbook when you have this you have to solve. You have to understand okay there is no denominator it means it will be 1. So here it is 1 and here it is 5. We got LCM 5. We have to convert this 1 to 5. The denominators have to be always same in case of addition and subtraction. Now how to make 1 to 5 you know multiply with 5 right when we multiply 1 with 5 we will get 5 here it's already 5 so you don't have to change anything now when we multiply the denominator with 5 automatically the numerator also gets multiplied with 5 so now what does this become 2 5s are 10 by 5 1s are 5 minus minus 3 by 5 3 by 5 now what will be your answer? Now denominators are same so you can directly subtract. It will be 10 minus 3, 7 by 5. This will be your answer. I hope I am clear. Let's see another question to be further clear. Next question is an addition. 4 plus 7 by 8. 4 plus 7 by 8. Now this is same as I said, nothing is there as a denominator so you will take it as 1 and here there is a, de there is a denominator 8. Now we have to take LCM because denominators are different. There is nothing means 4 by 1 plus 7 by 8. 1 because there is no denominator in the question. So here 1 and 8 we have to take the LCM. 1 and 8 as I said you before with 1 whenever there is another number that number will be your LCM automatically. So here your LCM will be 8. Now we have to convert 1 to 8. Why? Because that is your LCM and we need denominators to be same. So to make 1 to 8 we have to multiply with 8. Right? Same 8 will be multiplied in the numerator as well. Now what it will be? 8 for are 32 by 8 plus 7 by 8 right this we don't have to change because denominator is already 8 now 32 plus 7 that is 39 by 8 you don't have to add your denominators okay whatever the lcm is that will be your denominator 
This is your answer. I hope I am clear. Now the third question here is 3 by 5 plus 2 by 7. Let us look at this. It is 3 by 5 plus 2 by 7. So here you can see 5 and 7 are the denominators. They are two different numbers. So you cannot add them. Denominators have to be same in case of addition and subtraction. So now we have to take the LCM of 5 and 7. One thing I'll tell you is there you have to check like this. You know by looking at the question you can directly understand what will be the LCM. I'll tell you how. Is 5 there in 7 stable? No. Is 7 there in 5 stable? No. In that case, you can just multiply 7 and 5. That is 7 5s are 35. 35 will be your LCM. I hope you understood. Just look if they are there in any of, I mean if in 7 stable is 5 there or is in 5 stable 7 there. Just check that. If no, that means you can just directly multiply 7 and 5 and that will be your LCM. To make it more clear, if you want, I will take the LCM and check 5 1s are 5. It's not there in 7, 7 is not there, 7, 1 is a 7 and, sorry, 1 we repeat in 7, 1 is a 7. Here your LCM is 7 into 5, right? So as I told you, your LCM will be 7 into 5, 35. This is your LCM. Now we got the LCM. Now we have, your denominators has to be this LCM. In 5 stable, when does 35 come? 5, 7, right? So automatically your numerator also gets multiplied with 7. And here it is 7. We need to make it 35. In 7 stable, when do we get 35? It is multiplied with 5, right? 7 5s are 35. It automatically gets multiplied with the numerator. Now let's see what's our new fractions. 3 7s are 21 by 35. Plus 2 5s are 10 by 35. Now we can see here your denominators are same. So we have we can directly add them. 21 plus 10 is 31 by. The denominator doesn't change. It will be whatever you get in LCM. Now this is your answer. 31 by 35. I hope I'm clear till now. The same takes place in case of subtraction also. Just check if denominators are different and if they are different, take the LCM, make it same and then do same process. If the denominators are already same, don't worry, you can directly go for add, add, the adding them or subtracting them. Now I'll teach you in case of three numbers. Let's see what happens in case of three numbers. There is a question, fifth question for the same. 7 by 10 plus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 2. See, now we have 7 by 10 plus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 2. So here all the three denominators are different. It's 10, 5 and 2. So we have to take the LCM for adding them. Here we can see in 2 stable there is 10 and in 5 stable also there is 10. So automatically you can understand the LCM is 10. If I am, if you cannot understand, of course you can take the LCM of 2, 5 and 10. Okay, you can of course take. But actually you can just understand it directly also how in 2 stable there is 10, in 5 stable there is 10. So 10 is LCM. Okay, I hope I am clear. If in both the other denominators you get that it is divisible, then the highest number among this, that is 10, will be your LCM. But still you can again check here, see 2, 1, so 2, 5 will be written same, 2, 5 is 10. Sorry, 1, 1, 1. 2, 5 is 10 is your LCM. So if you cannot understand, you're really confused, of course, you can take the LCM, okay? Otherwise, as I said, you can keep these tips in mind. This is more easy. It uh, takes uh, less time. So here. Yeah. Now your LCM is 10. 2 into 5, 10. Okay. Now you can see this is already 10. We don't have to change it. But here the denominator is 5. So 5 into 2, 
and your numerator automatically gets multiplied with 2. Now here it is 2. To make 10 you will have to multiply with 5 and your numerator also automatically gets multiplied with 5. So let us see 7 by 10 plus 2 2s are 4 by 10 plus 3 5s are 15 by 10. Let's add them. 8, 9, 10, 11, 26 by your denominator won't change. It will be 10. I hope I'm clear. Right? This is how you add your three numbers. Now there is another type also that is mixed fraction. Let's look into mixed fraction. Let's look how to solve the mixed fraction. Suppose the question is 8, 1 by 2 minus 3, 5 by 8. Now this is called a mixed fraction. I am sure you all must be knowing what a mixed fraction is. 8, 1 by 2, 3, 5 by 8 is the mixed fraction here. Always before solving a mixed fraction, you have to convert these fractions to improper fraction. You must have learned how to convert a mixed fraction to improper fra fraction in your earlier classes. But again, I would like to just explain it to you. So how to make 8 1 by 2 a improper fraction. Here you have to do 8 into 2 plus 1 by 2. How? 8 into your denominator. Add your numerator. By denominator remains the same. I hope I am clear. Right? 8 into 2 plus 1 by 2. So what is your number here? 8 to the 16 plus 1 is 17 by 2. Right? Minus. Again this also you have to convert. 8 3s are 24 plus 5. 29 by 8. Right? I hope I am clear here. So this is how you convert your mixed fraction into improper fraction so we got your new uh, got our new fractions also okay now we can see now this is just like any other normal fraction subtraction 2 and 8 are the denominators it has to be same because we need to subtract it 2 and 8 lcm as i said 2 is uh, in eight, in two stable there is 8 right so here 8 will be your the highest number among this will be your lcm so here your lcm will be 8 we have to convert 2 to 8, that is into 4, right? Same will go up in the numerator. Just multiply by 8 minus 29 by 8. You can do and check, okay? 17 goes up. I just did it directly. Okay, so this we don't have to change because your LCM is 8, right? In 2 and 8, your LCM will be 8, okay? So here you can now subtract this 68 minus 29 it will be 9 and 3 that is 39 by 8 and this is your answer. I hope I am clear till here. Let's go to the next type of question. Let this arrange in descending order. You can check these, you can keep your textbooks open, okay, so that you can check it with the questions at the same time. I'm not writing the questions here. Okay, so your next question is arrange in descending order. How to arrange in descending order, okay? You know descending order, right? It is big to small. So the first question here is 2 by 9, comma, 2 by 3, comma, 8 by 21. So this is your first question. Here, in order to arrange it from big to small, this is in descending order. So how to arrange it big to small? You, can, you will understand only once your denominators are same. You have to make the denominator same. So how do we make denominator same? By taking LCM. But without taking LCM also, we can uh, directly do. How did I tell you? In 9 stable, you can check if there is 21. No, it's not there. In 3 stable, yes, it is there. But in 9 stable, it is not there, right? If, in tw if 21 was divisible by 3 and 9, 
directly your 21 would be your LCM but it is not so here in 3's table there is 9 and in 3's table there is 21 so let's check once and do 3 3's are 9 3 1's are 3 3 7's are 21 3 1's are 3 1 and 7 and 7 1 1 and 1 so this is your LCM 3 3's are 9 9 7's are 63. See, here your LCM changed. Why? Because in 3's table there is 9 and in 3's table there is 21. But what I said earlier was in 3's table there should be 21 and in 9's table also there should be 21. In that case 21 would have been your LCM but it's not so. They are different so we have to take the LCM and check. This is more better to take the LCM. So here we got 3 3's and 9 and 9 7's are 63 your LCM is 63 fine now let's see in 9 stable how do we get 63 9 7 is automatically numerator is multiplied 3 into 3 2 is 6 3 1 is 3 it is 21 multiplied numerator also 21 3 is are opposite of this same 3 goes up let's see the new fractions 7 2 is 14 by 63 2 are 4, 2 ones are 2, 32 by 63 and 24 by 63. Now it's very easy to find uh, the descending order that is big to small. That is it will be 42 by 63, 24 by 63 and 14 by 63. Right? Okay, let's go to the next question oh yeah before that i'll tell you one more thing you can uh, write this just like this one that is 42 by 63 was your 2 by 3 earlier so you can just write it in that way also 2 by 3 greater than 24 uh, next comes 24 by 63 right and that was what which one 8 by 21 so that will come and then comes your 2 by 9 either you can just write it till here and leave you can put the same sign or you can write this in which fraction actually your question is this one you have to arrange in descending order so you have to write that at the end this would be better to write it at the end like this i hope i'm clear here you have to don't worry you have to just take your decimal i mean lcm of those denominators and you can just arrange you can multiply as we did in the case of addition and subtraction then find out which is bigger than from big to small in case of descending if it is ascending then you have to do small to big this was your question in case of mixed fraction as i said you have to convert it to improper fraction and then do the same process now let's look into another question from your textbook itself it's your fourth question there is a third question also but that is not an important question it doesn't come for exam at all so i'm skipping it this will be your fourth question now Okay, a rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long. So let's take a rectangular sheet of paper and they say it is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long. 1 by 2 centimeter long. This is long, your length of the rectangle. Okay, this is breadth of the rectangle or we say wide. So they are saying. Rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 cm long and 10 2 by 3 cm wide. This is the breadth. Find its perimeter. I think you all know the formula for finding the perimeter of a rectangle. It is 2 into L plus B. L means length and breadth means breadth. Why 2 into L plus B? Let me write perimeter. Okay, why 2 into L plus B? Because there are 2 length and 2 breadth. So we take L plus B in common and we put 2. This is the formula for finding perimeter of a rectangle. So what is L here? 2 into 12 1 by 2 plus 10 2 by 3, right? So we can see the L and B are in a mixed fraction. So I told you before going further with a mixed fraction, we have to convert it to improper. So as we said earlier, let's see how to make it improper. 12 2s are 24, 
plus 125 by 2 plus 10 3s are 30 plus 2 32 by 3. Right? This is how we convert mixed to improper. Now let's see further. Here we see that 2 and 3 are two different numbers and 2 is not divisible by 3 and 3 is not divisible by 2. So what did I say? If they both are not divisible from with each other, just multiply the, both of them. That is 2 and 3. 6 becomes your LCM. Am I clear? If you if not, you can take the LCM and check. Okay. 2 into 3, 6 is your LCM. Now we have to convert denominators into 6. To make 2 to 6, you have to multiply with 3. 3 automatically gets multiplied with numerator. 3 2s are 6. So again into 2. 2 3s are 6. 3 2s are 6 are already written. 25 3s are. 75 plus 64. Am I clear? So here we reach further to 75 plus 64 is 139 by 6. Right? Now what do we do this? We can multiply. If there is nothing, that is with, between the number and brackets, if there is nothing, it means it is 2 multiply. Okay? I hope I am clear. If there is nothing between the brackets and the number, it is multiplication. 2 into 139 by 6. Right? I hope I am clear, right? 2 into nothing means multiply into 139 by 6. Now what we can do is 2 and 6, they are from same tables. That is 2, right? 2 ones are 2. 2 threes are 6. Am I clear? 2 ones are 2. 2 threes are 6. You can just cancel because they are from same tables. And your answer is 139 by 3. You can just leave it here. You will get the full mark. Don't worry. This You can just leave it 139 by 3. Or you can convert this into mixed fraction. This is improper fraction. We can convert improper to mixed. Now actually why we are converting is because your question is in mixed fraction. Okay. Otherwise if they mention in the question that they need the answer in mixed fraction also you have to compulsorily convert this to mixed. Otherwise you can just leave it. Don't worry. You, your marks won't be cut. So how to convert an improper fraction to mixed fraction? 139 by 3 means divide by 3. Hmm? 3 goes up 12. 18 minus and 1. Now, I hope you already know how to actually convert but still I would like to explain 139 divided by 3. Just divide in the normal way and then how you write is write the 4 to 6 here and then the remainder and then comes 3. Understood? Quotient first, okay? Then 1 by 3. 4 to 6, 1 by 3. This will be your final answer. I hope I am clear here, okay? You can write centimeter. This is the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Next question is a similar one. So I won't be solving it. But I'll just explain it. So that you don't have to be in confusion. Yeah. So the next figure is like this. A triangle and a rectangle below. Okay. Measurements given are 5 by 2 centimeter. 3, 3 by 5 centimeter. Mm-hmm. And 2, 3 by 4 centimeter. And 7 by 6 centimeter. And they are asking you to find the perimeter of this figure. So this figure is actually divided into two. It's a combination of a triangle and a rectangle. Here we have to find the perimeter. Finding the perimeter of a rectangle, you ha already have the formula 2 into L plus B. But for this triangle, since it is not an equilateral triangle, if it is an equilateral triangle, you can just 3 into side. Okay. But here this is 3 different measurements. So you need to just add. If you are not able to put any formula, if you are not re remembering any formula for any figure, 
okay you can just add all the sides and that is your perimeter perimeter means actually the total length addition of the total length of whatever figure you have but for in case of rectangle we already know it is 2 into L plus B so you can directly put that uh, formula substitute it there but in case of triangle we don't have a formula if the measurements are different so we are going to add all the three sides 5 by 2 plus 2 3 by 4 plus 3 3 by 5 now these are mixed fractions don't forget to make it into improper and then add by making denominators same by taking LCM if you are seeing my video from the beginning of course you know how to do uh, this addition so I'm not going to further explain I just said to you now in case of rectangle it is 2 into L plus B and don't forget in the beginning when you write you have to take a right in the case of triangle and in the case of rectangle don't forget to write that okay so that you become more specific here the length is already given to don't don't think that oh my god your only breadth is given and length is not given of course length is given this is your length the same goes over here also this is also two three by four they won't have given you in the textbook or in the question maybe it, it, it won't be given you have to understand that this comes here also so here your 2 into L is what 2 3 by 4 plus B is 7 by 6 right this you convert to improper then take the LCM of 4 and 6 and do the same same thing whatever I taught you I hope I'm clear here if you have any doubt you can mention it again in the comment section just mention what which page and which question number okay all right now let's go to the next question the next question here is Salil wants to put a picture in a frame the picture is 7 3 by 5 centimeter wide to fit in the frame the picture cannot be more than 7 3 by 10 centimeter wide how much should the picture be trimmed I hope I'm clear the picture is actually 7 3 by 5 centimeter wide the actual width is 7 3 by 5 centimeter right this is the actual width which Salil has a picture but to fit in the frame he has to have it more the white should be more 7 3 by 10 centimeter wide it has to be more than 7 3 by 10 centimeter wide to actually fit into the frame so how much should be trimmed how much should be trimmed so what do we do what do we do here of course we'll subtract right so that whatever extra is there that can be trimmed off trim means to deduct so of course you're going to deduct how you deduct 7 3 by 5 minus 7 3 by 10 okay this again is the same thing you will convert it to improper how do we convert 7 5 is 35 plus 3 38 by 5 minus 70 plus 3 73 by 10 then you take the LCM, 5 is divisible, so 5 to the 10, here the bigger number becomes the LCM or you can of course do it and check, 5 twos are same goes here and then subtract and then you'll get the answer how much has to be trimmed, I hope I'm clear, right, now let's go to the next question, Ritu ate 3 by 5 part of an apple and remaining apple was eaten by her brother Somu, how much part of the apple did Somu eat? Who had the larger share by how much I hope you have kept your textbook open so that whatever I explain here becomes more clear to you okay here it is said that Ritu is has eight three by five part of an apple Ritu eight three by five oh, apple right and remaining was eaten by Somo so how much did Somo eat Somo ate the remaining we don't know what is remaining okay but of course we have what how much part did Somu eat okay so nothing else is given how much did Somu e ate is the question who had the larger share and by how much okay so here actually they if they had given that this is the size of apple or this is what then we could have directly did 3 by 5 of whatever size given and all but they didn't give any other further information so that means apple is 1. It is the case of 1 apple. So what Ritu 8 will be? Ritu 8, 3 by 5 of 
apple now apple we don't know how much means it is one okay one apple one apple this is a case of one apple so three by five whenever you see off in between two numbers it means multiply this is another tip keep it in your mind whenever there is off it means it is multiplied three by five into one what is it three by five right now so more eight the remaining so out of one apple you have to deduct what ritu eight i hope i'm clear so more is eating the remaining okay remaining means from a from an apple if they're saying ritu eight we already found out three by five remaining means you have to subtract it right one apple minus this three by five you will get how much so more eight so it will be one minus three by five or there is nothing means there is one as i said you earlier one and five lcm will be five so you multiply see and into five is five minus three by five right your lcm is five and five minus three what is the answer two by five so this is what how much so eight your answer is I hope I'm clear, huh? So, so much eight, how much? Two by five. Now we are not done with the question because the question there is further. That is, they are asking uh, how much part did so much eight? We already found out. Who had the largest share? You can see it, three by five or two by five. Of course, Ritu had the largest share. But here also the question is not done. Next part of the question is by how much? So here we found out that Ritu eight more, Ritu eight more. Because three by five is greater than two by five. By how much? How do we find by how much? Always deduct those two answers, and you get the answer for by how much. Three by five minus two by five. Denominators are same, so you don't have to take the LCM. Three minus two one by five. So by how much? The question for answer for by how much is one by five. Girls, uh, sorry, <laughs> friends, please don't forget. To always attend the entire part of one question, you know. You see, in this question itself, there are three or four different parts, so you have to attend all of them. Read full carefully and attend them. Now, I hope I am clear over here. Okay, this is done with your exercise two point one. If you have any doubt, I have skipped few questions because they are similar type. But if you have in doubt in that, please give your page number and the question number. I'll be clearing them also. Now we have to go to the next exercise.